At the level house is a delegation from Kogi State. The state has in the past had issues with organized labor over delay in payment of workers' salaries and was one of the states named by the Federal Ministry of Finance not implementing the national minimum wage. The delegation is here to clarify some of the issues and the present state of affairs. I want to make it clear that Kogi State is paying 30,000 Naira minimum wage. Even the last salary, the first salary, they say they paid on 14th and all that. So, uh, I think it falls on the Kogi State government, you know, to equally clarify this with the Federal Minister of Finance. The NLC President Joseph Ajoro used the opportunity to update the public about his position on the presentation of an executive bill on the new national minimum wage to the National Assembly. We say this matter is being taken to the president. When we may have, that is, dot, dotted all I's and cross all T's, it will be taken for him and is expected for him or of him to reach out to the tripartite people, not just labor, employers, people representing government, to see whether they can build a synergy outside the negotiating table to come up with a figure that should be transmitted to the National Assembly. That's our position. Now beyond that, the issue of the frequency of review is an issue. The issue of checking you know, market prices, the issue of checking inflation and all those issues, you know, some of the issues that were negotiated there. A better labor-government relationship through the continuous dialogue for these stakeholders is vital in addressing gray areas and preventing industrial disputes.